Hello and welcome to the Muskegon Heritage Museum. My name is Kirk Bunke, site manager for the museum. Today we're going to discuss how paper is made. As the lumber industry came to an end, other companies began to come to Muskegon. One of the earliest was the Central Paper Company. It started in 1899 with Eugene Muir coming to Muskegon looking for a location to place a, a mill. Central Paper Company became the largest employer in Muskegon with over 500 employees. The four paper mills produced brown and white paper, gift wrap, and embossed papers. It became S.D. Warren, and a few years later, the number five paper mill was built in a new, bigger building. The new mill produced high quality book publishing and specialty coated papers. Sappy Fine Paper Incorporated purchased the company and continued to upgrade equipment. The company's 100th anniversary was celebrated in 2000. This picture was taken from an airplane looking straight down at the whole paper company complex. Just a few years later, the company was permanently closed in August of 2009, ending 110 years of paper making in Muskegon. Paper is made from wood. Logs are placed into a drum to remove the bark, and then the logs are cut in, into chips and processed in a large tank with lots of water and high heat. This turns the wood chips into small fibers called pulp. The pulp and water, then called slurry, is poured onto the paper making machine. The water is pressed out and the fibers are pressed together, making paper. Hi, my name is Ann. I'm a volunteer at the Muskegon Heritage Museum. And this, now we're going to talk about making paper by hand. It's very similar to making it with the big paper making machines called paper mills. So we're ready to begin. First, we need to make pulp. And to do that, we need a kitchen blender with some water in it and some scraps of paper. Take the scraps of paper, tear them up, put them in the blender, put the lid on it, and blend for about two minutes or a little more. When you're done, it will look like this. This is the pulp. Now, if you want to do it ahead of time, you can make, fill several bags, make several batches, put them in a little bag. You may want to drain a little of the water out so that it's not quite so full. To make paper, we need a tub of water, and you need a mold. This is the size the paper will be. We need something to collect the pulp onto, which we're using this screen. It's a very fine mesh screen. So we'll put that on the back of the mold. And then we use just a grid, it's plastic, just to give it some strength. And put the straps on so that it's firmly attached. And this is what you have. This is where we're putting the pulp to make the paper. This goes into the water. And then we're going to take the pulp and put it into this section in the mold. If you don't get it all the first time, you can add a little water. It takes a great deal of water to make paper. Now, the uh, pulp is really kind of clumped together in here, and we don't want it that way. It needs to be very, very well mixed in the mold. And by the way, the mold is called a decal. And you mix and mix until it's really smooth and well mixed. And then, Pull the mold straight up out of the water, and you can see a lot of water already coming out through the screen. The pulp sits on the screen, but the water will go through it. And if you want to take a peek in the mold, I can tip it a little bit, and you can look and see that the pulp is in there. So we're going to take the mold off. And there's our pulp, but look how thick it is. It has a lot of water in it still. So the rest of our job, the rest of the process, is to remove the water and push those fibers tightly together to make a nice thin sheet of paper. To do that, we put the screen here, and then we put just a small piece of window screen on top so that as we use our sponge to get the water out, 
the pulp isn't sticking to our sponge. Now here we have an empty, a dry sponge, and we're going to start. soaking up the water and watch how much water comes out. We have to do this for quite some time to make sure that all the water is out. You see there's still water in there. Okay, now we'll very carefully take the screen off. This is called couching paper. It's a paper that's treated so it won't fall apart when it gets wet. And we'll put that down on top of the pulp. And we're going to flip it over. So now it's, look at how much thinner it is. We'll put it down with the screen side up this time and do some more with the sponge to try to get as much water out as we can. I've put it on a, a small towel to help absorb water the other way as well. All right, now we're going to very, very carefully Peel off the screen that we used first, and we're going to take another piece of couching paper and put it on top. So what we have now is a sandwich. We're going to use this piece of wood, and we're going to press down on the sandwich with our paper in the middle. Don't rub it, but push to squeeze any more water out that we can get out. It's still going to be wet, but we'll squeeze out as much as we can. All right, so here's our sandwich. We have two pieces of couching paper and our new paper in the center. So first thing is to peel off one piece of the couching paper very gently if it doesn't peel off easily, go back and use this again. And then, fingers crossed here, we'll peel off the last piece. And now there's our piece of paper. Now it's not dry, it's still wet and it's still very flexible. But put it out to dry and before long you'll have a dry piece of paper that looks like this. Now, what might you want to do with this paper? Well, you might want to make a book out of it. Make two pieces, take some regular paper and put it inside with some staples and you're ready to write a story. You might want to make some note cards or birthday cards or holiday cards. It's a single piece of paper folded in half with a plain piece of paper to write on inside. And you can use the magic marker on the outside. Or you might want to create paper with stuff in it. You need to do this when the paper and the pulp is in the water. You can put in glitter. You can put in little pieces of, of plants, little flower petals. Or you can put seeds in this, wildflower seeds. And when you give this as a gift, tell the person that you're giving it to, to plant this sheet of paper and it will grow. You'll have flowers growing out of it. So there are lots of things to do with handmade paper. It's a lot of fun. You can make it in lots of different choices. So thanks for being here today. Thanks for joining us and we hope that we'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.